Hi, I'm Julianne Hartman, and this is my husband, Butch Hartman, and we are co-hosting Heart to Heart. And we have today on our show, Pastor Gilbert Burns. Once again, Pastor, thank you so much. My you are pleasure. an awesome blessing to this I show. I'm honored to be here. And to everybody else out there. I thought I was going to say I am an awesome blessing. He is an awesome <laughs> he blessing. Is. He's from uh, Santa, Clarita, uh, Santa Clarita Christian Center That's out it. in near Valencia, California. That's it. And um, he's uh, really an awesome, awesome uh, teacher of the Word of God. And today our topic is, uh, it's, it's, is God a liar? That's our topic. Don't today. you? And, and I don't like to say that because he's not, but we're gonna you're going to find out today why he's not. Well, we'll hear, we'll hear the deal is we're not calling God a liar, but we're, a lot of people ask those questions like, is God a liar? Why? For example, I prayed for this, but I got this. I prayed for this, but my life is miserable. I asked for this and bad things happened. Now, Pastor, why would God promise us good things and then bad things happen to people? Why is that? Well, we have an adversary that obviously is a part of this world system. Everyone forgets about that. Nobody that, blames yeah, him that ever. Is true. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah true. no one ever I mean, blames the probably adversary. Probably the worst uh, deception is that there is no devil. Right. Exactly. Or the understanding of, of Satan, of mm -hmm. Lucifer, who became Satan. Right. So yeah, we have that adversary. And then on top of that, really, Satan has no power over us at all. Even if you're not saved. Nope, you're mm -hmm. right. What, what we allow into our lives is based on what we believe. So it's a mindset. It definitely is a mindset. Mm -hmm. And whatever that mindset carries you and directs you is what you is going to take place in your life. Well, you know, Pastor, I've hear, heard for years and years um, people talking, whether it be on TV or in different churches, or just people that I know about how God will punish, God will put sickness and disease on you so that he can heal you and get the glory. Mm -hmm. That is so, I feel like I... Oh, it's, I get so frustrated because I'm like, there's no way. I mean, my own mother and father who are flawed would never do something like that to exactly, me. Yeah. Why would God, who loves us unconditionally, <laughs> who is our heavenly father, I mean, and, and then also, too, we have acts of God that they say, like, you know, the tsunami. Oh, God was mad, you know, or, or what happened in Haiti. Oh, God, want, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's always God's fault. So <laughs> maybe you can just... Shed Talk some light that. on this. and Well, first of all, we need to define this sickness, disease. Is that a good thing? No. The answer is no. No. That's not a good thing because no. most of the people that I see that are attacked physically mm -hmm. are going through misery. Yes. There's no, nothing comfortable about it. Even the medications and the drugs have, they have, it subsides what they feel physically, mm -hmm. but it still has an after effect as, as well. Mm -hmm. So, it, I mean, you got drugs and then you have the, Side the disease as yes. well that you, you know, the, the better of both evils, which one are you going to take? Right. So, but the fact is, does sickness, does disease have a negative impact on people's lives? Absolutely. Yes, they do. Absolutely. So now, does God use sickness and disease to make us better? That's the question. Right. The answer is no, but how do we qualify that? Well, is there sickness and disease in God? No. It's a pretty common sense type of answer. Mm -hmm. There is no sickness and disease inside of God. And according to James chapter 1, he can only tempt, he, he does not tempt you. Because the understanding is, is that there is no evil in God to tempt you with. It says James 1, James 1, 13, it says, Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Anyone, exactly. And then if you think about uh, what's the ultimate goal of sickness and disease? To take you out. To, to like kill to you. To get rid of you. And yeah. according to, to John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right. And that is the intent of the enemy. Jesus said, I came to give you life and life more abundantly. There is no abundant life in sickness and disease no. or, or tragedy or, or amputation or car accidents. All these things that take place that people put the blame on God because he allows it. Mm -hmm. And that's the understanding. That's mm -hmm. the qualification. Does God allow it? And he does allow it. And because and because the adversary runs the world system, he wants all the blame to be put on God. He well, wants God course, to yes. be blamed. Yes. Which is why yes. when you take the Bible out of school and you take God out of our, um, you, they want to take in God we trust off the money and off yep. all of our government buildings and things like that. People yes. forget who God is and they want exactly. to blame God for everything. Right. Because we're forgetting about the fact that God is even in our lives. Right. We're not allowed to think that anymore. Yes. And but that's why, that's why we're doing this right. show, that it reminds you that you can still think about God and He will, yeah. and he will respond favorably to Well, you. I mean, just think about this. It, it, either like, like this, the question, is God a liar? Right. Well, the scripture says in Romans, it says, let God be true and every man a liar. Why is that? Well, because if God lied, that will nullify everything that yeah. exists today. Because mm -hmm. right. God has to be true. We got to have somebody that we can depend on that never changes. Mm -hmm. So the, the, let's go to the law. Okay. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20, and you think about him laying down what we understand as the Ten Commandments. Right. And the Ten Commandments are listed, and one of them is, Thou shalt not kill. Right. So how could God be the, the killer of people 
and that and stating that that's his means of punishment, and then he's commanding for mankind not to kill. It's a contradiction. Mm. It's a hypocrisy. Right. Yeah. So God would be a hypocrite. But then, then, we, then, we kind of, then we couldn't believe one word of the And how said. could we trust him? But think right. about it. If exactly. God put sickness on, Jesus was here to heal. So it's kind of funny. Like, right. okay, I, my dad brought the sickness, yes. so I'm going to come and heal. Right. Right. You know, no numbers, sense. I was just turning to the book of Numbers uh, 23, 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you can always, you know, remember that because God is not a man. Yes. And he's not going to lie because right. men lie all the time. Yes. So now, you Pastor, know. where does this mindset come from? I mean, you know, unfortunately, it, it does come from across the pulpit. And explain it in the next five yes. minutes, please. <laughs> yes. So just get I all mean, of it done. Minute. Yes. Okay. But the fact is, is that pe people have this understanding because, because it's really, it's hard to, to answer. Mm -hmm. It's hard to answer this question because the fact is things do happen, even to good people. Yeah. Right. So why do bad things happen to good people. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the fact is, is that there still is an adversary. And if we don't believe that we have authority and rights over our own lives mm -hmm. and our environments, then obviously the devil is going to come in yeah. and take advantage of that. Yeah. He will usurp your authority in your home and he will come in and try to take you out. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a believer. Doesn't what, I, but he comes after you more if you're a believer. Even more so. Because yes. once you become part of the army of goodness, yes. you are dangerous exactly. to him. And he yes. doesn't want you around at all. Right. And but so, if you know you're exempt from him, yeah, exactly, yes. you know, of, of right. him affecting you, right. Yeah, it's, it's powerful. You, you know, may, may I read a scripture? Do I have yes. time to read a scripture here? Uh, this is from Hebrews. And Hebrews is written to... Can to, you read? That's the important thing. Uh, yeah, read. Sometimes. Okay, good, good. All right, make sure we got <laughs> Hebrews, it. Hebrews is addressing the Hebrew mindset. That's the book of Hebrews. It's about a Hebrew mindset. Okay, it says, uh, let's see here. Uh, chapter 2, and it says, Therefore we must give the more earnest heed to, to the things we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through angels proved steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the fi uh, first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him? And this is the clincher. God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. So we're, we got to take into account that everything that took place in God was for our benefit. Even when we look at uh, the, the Exodus, the children of Israel being Exodus out of Egypt, mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the different plagues that came on, on, uh, Pharaoh. on the Pharaoh, mm -hmm. did God really harden that man's heart? Mm -hmm. Did God Is God the cause of those types of things? Because really, if that be the case, then God is involved with witchcraft. Well, for example, like like <laughs> you know, everyone, there's a, a story that's, I think, not only in our Bible, but a lot of ancient texts have this story, is the flood of Noah. Yes. Now that is a God situation all the way around. Yes. He, he basically wiped out the entire planet Earth to and start do, over. But do you know why? Well, I, is, I do, but explain to our homeowners. What is, what is the reason? I totally know. <laughs> I know. I know all this. Well, it, it, it was a rhetorical question. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Go okay, ahead. The point being is that why did the flood come? Well, there were the Nephilims. And that mm -hmm. meaning that the angels came down from, that were kicked out of heaven, that came along with Lucifer, mm -hmm. that was kicked out of heaven. They they made it or had. Sorry, this is they, in Gen this is all in Genesis, is Genesis chapter six. Six six. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. They they had sex with the uh, with the uh, women, the daughters of men, mm -hmm. and as a result, these giants came into the land. That's what that's what we understand Goliath. These are, these are people that were half angel, half man. Half men. Right. Exactly right. because of the, okay. the 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 well angels. The, when you think of angels, you don't you know we don't think wings and. You know, all, all of that. You think of just normal looking people just like us. Mm -hmm. But they had authority to operate mm -hmm. in this earth realm and we gave it to them. Mm -hmm. So now these individuals that were classified as angels came down and had this effect. Thus, it had an effect on the human race. The gen a genetic effect. A genetic effect. Yeah, yeah. And so God had to come in and cleanse this. Mm -hmm. He had to stop this. So for 120 years, he was preparing the ark not necessarily just for the animals. He was preparing it for, oh. for the people okay. to be saved. But did anybody choose? Nobody believed. It says, it, it, scripture says that everyone, all flesh, was evil in that day. Except Ev Noah. Except Noah and his family. Yep. They didn't have, wow. they, meaning they didn't have any of the Nephilim genetic exactly. situation going on as in their well. Body. So yes. they, so they were, they could be saved because they were pure right. human beings. But I would, I'm also including the fact that there were these individuals that were there that could have been saved with them. They totally, yeah. Right. They could have been saved. By the way, them. who closed the door of the ark? And who, who did that? It was God. It had to be. Yeah, God There's closed no the door. There's no way that that he could have done it. The door was too huge. No. To go. And then, but, exactly. but, and, right. and, and, and this is we can really get deep into this. It yeah. never rained at that time either. It never right. rained on the earth until the time flood came. Yeah. And so anytime there's sin in the land, the land, the earth, the, the ground has an effect 
earthquakes, all the things that are taking place in, in the earth realm, it's because of the sin in the land. Right. Mm -hmm. And you think about Job. All the things that took place in Job's life over a period of nine months. It, mm -hmm. it seems like this all of happened, that happened in over nine a period months. of nine months. Nine months oh to a year. Mm -hmm. And so you think, okay, this is his whole lifetime that he's been going through all this. His family's taken, his wife's taken, all these and the sicknesses and all these things. And and remember this. Satan was kicked out of heaven. Lucifer was kicked out of heaven. Right. And when he was coming to accuse Job, mm -hmm. he was not going to heaven. God came down like he came down in the garden mm. to speak to Adam. Right. Well, he came down again. And that's when Satan approached God and said, hey, this man here, he'll he'll renege on you. He'll re Just give me a chance. Yeah. I can make him. Mm -hmm. And he said, you, could, you can do anything you want. Only, why could he do anything he want? Because of what happened with Adam. It's the only reason. Because God really had no no say or authority over mm -hmm. Job's life okay. unless Job allowed but God him did, to. God did say you could do whatever you want to him. But, but you, don't, can't, don't, take you can't take his exactly. life. You can't take his life. You can't kill yes. him. And, and really, that is a true statement to this day if you're saved or not saved because, because nobody could take your life. Because once you leave your physical body, you either go to heaven or you go to hell mm -hmm. and you will spend eternity there forever. And so oh, you will still be yes. alive. Yeah, That's your life. You'll still be alive. But where you're oh, alive at... Is depending on what your decision. So have you made Jesus your Christ? reservations for heaven? So <laughs> yes, I, want to ask I you. would. Yes. But uh, Job also says, and, and this this goes back to the part of allowing things to happen exactly. to you yeah. if you don't have the right mindset. Job yes. says, I don't know what scripture is, but it's in the book the, of Job. He yes. says, he says, the thing I feared the most has come upon me. me. Yes. So, so I really, feared, Job, I, he feared this. Yes. But Job was just like us, right? Exactly. Okay. So he was a righteous man. He lived in his life, and then all of a sudden, one day. Like all of a sudden, it, things started happening. Exactly, yes. just like us. Now he was a very emotional man. So I mean, you, if you read Job, you can see that. Right. You know, the, he was a very emotional man, and usually, uh, men that have a lack of control over their emotions, they blurt out a lot of negative things. He wasn't cool like us, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, he he wasn't well, cool like the way we've developed. Exactly. Us to be cool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, was, I was I was crying just before the show started. <laughs> anyway. Well, but yeah. it's. I mean, when things are happening like that, I, I tell you, it's, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And I mean, if you want to say women decisions. are you more know. emotional, what about women? Because no, we tend to be more emotional. But that's, than where, I, that's where the mindset comes yeah. back in. Because you mean, you're going to be tested every single day you're on this earth. Right. But how, not by how, God, though. No, not by God. But I mean, but the world is going to bring challenges to you each and right. every day. And how do you get past those challenges? Do you do it in a negative way? Do you do it in a fearful way? Right. Or do you do it in a brave way? Uh, productive, pros prosperous way that God right. wants you to do. Exactly. But you know, I just way. think you gotta have the right mindset. Amen. But you know, I just right. thought of too. That's why we need marriage because yes. if I'm if I'm emotional because I'm a woman yes. and I'm gonna get emotional, I need him right. to stop it. You know, yes. to say to me, hey, you know, yeah. don't you know who you are? You're the righteousness of God. You well, are. I mean, you know, if you take Adam and Eve from the beginning, really, who the, who was responsible for the garden? Adam. Adam was, well, but yeah. Eve was the one that was used by the devil. Right. Yeah. To entice Adam, but ultimately, but ultimately, it came back on the man. Yeah. We're responsible for a lot of the things that are taking place in but our she lives. Does, but she family. does the gardening at our house. So how does that work? I don't got to pray hard. Okay, <laughs> well, okay so if the garden doesn't look good, I'm in big trouble. Yes, but no, this really but you makes sense. The overseer. Overseer. Right? That's right. No, and he's yes. the overseer over me. Yes. Exactly. We, okay, we guys. I, once more, running out of time. We need to get to our foundation. Well, scripture. we actually already read it. We did. You did. Oh, we did. Yeah, James. Is it James? You read one? It, James chapter one. James chapter <laughs> yes. one. Let's, let's read it again, okay. real quick. James one thirty. You, you, you want to read it? Or you if I get there real quick, you can read it. It says, "Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he him, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Why? Because there's no evil in God to tempt you with." So when you're out there That's being the tempted, when right. there's tests and challenges coming towards you, understand something: it's not God doing that to you. It's not. It's the world. Uh, it's, the, it's the world with the little fish hook out there trying to get you to bite on it. But remember that God says you don't have to do that because he's got a better way for you. That's all he wanted to tell you. And that's what's exciting. So, all right. So then that's it. Well, <laughs> I, we did it. There's a lot to say. And please, if you have any questions, you need to log on to questions at hearttoheartshow.com. And um, we'll answer them. If you want to get a hold of Pastor Burns, we'll make sure that you get a hold of him. Whatever you need, whether it's Butch and I or whatever. But I just am so excited because... You can't hold his hair. But now you're, there are other parts of him we can hold. But we have to go. <laughs> All right. So from our heart to yours, this is Julianne Hartman, Butch Hartman, and Pastor Gilbert Burns saying we will see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you.